Hello everyone, it is I, Jay, from The Game Busters UK, and welcome back to another part of Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Cursed King, the PS2 version. So as we get into this, if you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more Let's Play Gaming Stuff by the Busters of Gaming. And uh, like the video if you enjoyed. I'm still having fun with this series. Let's say Dragon Quest is probably my favourite RPG, at least so far. Um, so I would totally recommend it. And you know, I should probably do a Reasons to Play. Um, and in case you guys don't know, long story short, it, um, Reasons to Play is basically um, my other channel. My other solo channel where I basically try to persuade you guys, the viewers, to play a game or to not play a game. So if I really, really like a game and I feel like it deserves, you know, persuasion or at least, you know, good publicity in a way, then I'll just be like, okay, so I'm going to give you as many reasons and I'll come up with like seven or eight reasons to play Dragon Quest VIII. Um, but the on the flip side to that, if I can't convince you, like if enough people are like, nah, I don't want to play this, um, then when people like the comment not convinced um, in the comment section below, I then, after a certain amount of likes, have to do the opposite videos. So I would basically have to find seven or eight reasons to not play the game. So it would be, it's just like a little fun little thing that I do on the other channel. I'll probably put a card up on the top corner in case you guys don't know about it. Um, I'm, I'm just starting out, so I've practically got like no subscribers. I'm just trying to make a way, ways here. Then again, I mean, we've been trying to make ways on here for a long time, so the struggle is real, you know. <laughs> the struggle is real. If, if you're not um, clickbaiting, I suppose, if you're not already popular, or if you're not clickbaiting or doing something trending, then YouTube doesn't really give a shit and doesn't push your videos. That's just how it is. Um, but I'd rather not be someone that just clickbaits for views. Sure, I want views, you know, but I, I, I want to earn them, you know. I just want to have fun doing this, you know, with you guys and stuff, trying to entertain you the best way I can or playing these games. Um, you know, and not be... I guess fake with you guys, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I just, I, I am me. I, this is where I come to be me. I unleash the J. I unleash my true personality. Because um, most people who know me, no, most people who don't know me, sorry, probably would, would say I, I come across as this very quiet person. I don't talk to p many people, honestly. Um, so... I'm pretty quiet. Part of it is nervous, I guess. Um, but, uh, anyway, it's enough about me. Let's get into this video. So, we got some uh, terror tabbies. They still look very sickly. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, we're back. Dragon Quest VIII. And we need to get the harp, the Moonshadow harp, so we can hopefully get the ship, so we can hopefully sail to the western continent, so we can track down Domegus. Now there's only one person who has that, and we figured it out, as you can also go back to um, February, um, speak to Calderasha if you are stuck, and he will basically give you pretty much a hint on who to go to. So, we need to go to Escampfar. Basically the same person who we saved last time and who was like involved with the Moonshadow Harp. Ironically, I it's destiny, I, I guess. <laughs> or the game just, you know, that's just how the game is. <laughs> but that's boring. It's destiny. It's destiny that you happen to click on this video, guys, and I hope you are still with me. Um, I hope this uh, quirkiness haven't completely thrown you off. But I understand. I understand. If I can bring someone, you know, if I can bring a smile on someone's face, you know, for me being cheery or making some stupid ass joke or whatever, or if you like my British accent, because apparently a lot of people like my British accent. I don't know what it is. I'm, I don't think it's anything special, but that's probably just because, well, that's my accent, you know. <laughs> there. <laughs> anyway, let's go and speak to the king. I've honestly forgot his name already. Or we'll just say King. We know who he is. The King of Escapa. 
And, well, I mean, there shouldn't be no reason why he wouldn't give us the Moon Shadow Heart, because we kind of helped him from a two-year, like, well, kind of like slumber in a way, but like, two years of depression, essentially. That's what it was. It was depression. I mean, he was grieving, two years of grieving, but, you know, he was so depressed that he just couldn't fall out of it. So, yeah, pretty big thing. Now he's finally back into shape, so let's talk to him. And then get that moon shadow harp. Ah, <laughs> what a pleasant surprise! It's so nice to see you all back at my humble home. Oh yeah, that's it, King King Pavan. I'll never forget that day. You brought the vision of my dear Sasha to me. I cannot thank you enough. I mean, in terms of me playing this game, it didn't seem like that long ago I did this. But who knows, this could, like, in, in, in as far as they're concerned, this could have been days, this could have been weeks, I don't think so. Because we literally just went to pick them afterwards, and then we had that all event. It's probably been maybe a few days, I guess, but who knows. So, what brings you to my kingdom on this fine and sunny day? I see. The Moon Shadow Harp is indeed in Escantha. It has been one of our treasures since ancient times. But I cannot deny my honored friend's request. It would be my pleasure to give it to you. It is locked securely away in the vault below the castle. Allow me to escort you there. This brooch has been passed down through many generations of the royal family. Here we are. That's kind of neat, I suppose. Hidden passageway under the under the fountain. And it drains all the water. That's one way to hide something. I doubt anyone would know that unless they saw him use it. The vault is just below us. Come with me. They say there's always something behind the waterfall, but what about the the water fountain? Oh. Oh well, um It's like someone's been raiding and it wasn't me. I... I don't believe it. How c can this be? Why are you shaking? Are you... S well, I, was, I wouldn't be scared. I mean, shocked, I guess, but... Uh, yes. It must be the work of thieves! I will not stand for this! I just love how the main character just... At times he shows emotion, like with his face, and at other times just kind of just like standing and just be like, what? <laughs> and again, I don't know what King Pavan was doing. Was he just looking at him expecting a reaction? I don't know. He's a silent protagonist, mate. <laughs> he doesn't even grunt. At least Link grunts and stuff. <laughs> it appears that the unthinkable has happened, and the Moon Shadow Harp has been stolen. Of course it has. The culprits could still be inside this tunnel. Uh-huh. It's too dangerous for you to go after them. You mustn't set foot inside. Right. I will summon the castle guards. They'll get the harp back. You mark my words. Uh, somehow I doubt that. So we're just going to completely ignore his advice. Let's go. I'm going the wrong way. I was faced the right way. What was wrong with me? <laughs> um, I don't think I've changed much since the last time. I don't think so, but these are my levels anyway. Level 26, 25, 23, 23. Um, at some point, Angelo will learn multi-heal, which is like the best thing, in my opinion. Uh, you can get the the hero to learn Omni Heal, but I think you have to get your courage up. So, I mean, if you want to get your courage up, you can. If you've got nothing else you want to, like if you don't want to get your spears up, I guess. But I'd rather get my spears up first, and if I've got enough points, maybe I'll eventually get Omni Heal. Omni Heal is basically the more expensive version of Multi Heal, and it fully heals everyone. Multi Heal is basically like um, 
mid heals basically for everyone. I want to say it's a little bit more than a mid heal though. Um, so it's kind of like mid heal and maybe a little bit of heal, like normal heal topped on top of it. Um, it's really useful. So at that point, like having uh, Angelo with lots of MP is great just for that. Um, because, I mean, he is our white mage. Well, I'll do some damage, but most of the time he's our white mage. You know, Jessica is obviously our like offensive magic user. Um, but she hasn't got that great spells at the moment. Um, the one spell she got recently was Oomph, which is great for just boosting up, uh, basically the hero. The hero and Yangas are really the, the attackers. If anything, I'd say Yangas is the, the main attacker. Um, and the hero is kind of, like, balanced out, so you can use them for attack, you can use them for healing, um, and whatnot. Um, but those two are mainly the attackers. Um, you know, and then they, these guys are just really for support for the most part. Um, so, and I don't think I've changed any weapons or anything of yet. I haven't done any alchemy or anything. Like I said, you can get stuff at the Pick'em ca uh, Casino, but I, I honestly want to wait until I get to the other casino first, because I, I just think it's better. Um, and I'm pretty certain the tokens, like, carry over, so you can still use, like, you can use the same tokens. They're the same tokens, essentially. I'm pretty certain, so you can just, like, do the other casino and then get any prizes you want or, or whatnot. Um, so, yeah, and at this point, we're okay, we're not doing too bad, so let's go in. Let's go in this cave. And of course, yes, we'll, we'll be going to a boss. You don't want to go left, it's a dead end, you want to go right. Um, I would admit, this is like a one of those situations where, I'll leave this battle in sure, where um, it's just nothing but caves, and even though... You get like a, I don't think you get a torch yet, but we get like a torch. Um, it's not, it's not um, very helpful. It's still pretty dark, in my opinion. So one of those things where you might want to try turning up your TV, I suppose. You know, it's like, oh, it's so dark, maybe turning up a TV will work. All right, I've, I'm still unequipped with Yang, because that's fine. That's fine. Actually, what you can do here, at least at my level, is that I can holy protect, uh, holy protect because um, most of these enemies are enemies we've seen before, and even if they aren't, they're not that strong because if we're still in the Escamfer area, um, so at this point I'm strong enough to deal with them. I can holy protection, and they pretty much I, I won't see an encounter, so. And also, you may notice if you are getting encounters, that you will be fighting a lot of moles. Yes, you can probably guess that somehow these moles... And when I first came up here the first time, I literally didn't even notice this as an entrance until I turned the camera and noticed a bit of light there. I literally thought it camouflaged with the wall. I thought it was the wall. I thought it was just the wall. I couldn't go and get in it. Um, but I managed to see it. Now, there is two treasure chests, I believe. Only two. Um, worth picking up, so I will be going to get them. There's one, I believe, that's like over here somewhere. There's also a cow if you want milk. Why not? Milk, milk! Free milk. You only really use milk for cheese. You can't, I'm pretty certain you can't just use milk. I haven't checked actually. Let me check. Does milk do anything? Milk, do you do anything? Yeah, nothing happened, so there you go. Literally, it's just for alchemy. That's all it is. What if you just want to drink milk? <laughs> nothing wrong with that. But I won't ask how he somehow managed to milk that cow so quickly, I suppose, and put it in a bottle. Does he have a bottle each time, or does a bottle of milk just come out? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we got a seed of life. I shouldn't be asking these questions, I'm sorry. This will get flagged just for that. Um, which I normally use for Jessica, because she has the least amount of HP, so I always buff her up. Sometimes you can buff Angelo, because Angelo's not too far off of Jessica, so but mainly those two. Um, and I'm not too bothered about Yangus or the hero, because they're uh, pretty solid for the most part. Um, and that, and because Jessica I don't think gets too much armor. I mean, ironically, her best armor, one of the best armors I believe, is... <sighs> It's not even armor, you know what I mean? It's a costume. But it, 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 I guess it's just meant to be like a little joke. It's like, oh hey, her uh, quote-unquote cosplay costume is like her best armor. It's like, what? Alright. 
you know, because she's fan service. Oh, hey, this one of the, um, one of the random uh, enemies. This isn't like a mole to do with them. Um, this is literally just one of the moles. And then, believe I don't think we've encountered this blue mole before. So, now that I'm here, like, well, now I'm here. Well, now that I'm, uh, I've, like, uh, shown off the monster arena, um, I do, for the most part, want to show off these boss battles as, as I go through. Um, because I most likely won't be showing them all off, but like once I see through, um, and obviously once I'm going to recruit, I'll show off. I don't know. I might show them all off. We'll see. Um, I have to go around hunting for all these monsters. So this is obviously stronger than the usual bl um, blue mole major mole. Yeah, you you fist them, fist them, fist them good. Sure. Right. <laughs> I'm not questioning it. Of course, moles normally like the tension up. That's the only thing you have to really worry about, really. It's just tension. I'm not expecting this guy to be too strong. I say that, but it might be worth just getting you get your axe back, Yangus, honestly. Or Whiplash. I could do Puff Puff, I guess. Sure. Well, I haven't shown this off yet, so... If he doesn't die, we'll show it off. There we go. You might even know what this already is anyway. Now it gets flagged. <laughs> and now it gets flagged. And the monster's got a grin on his face. Note that you're doing this on monsters. I mean, I, I didn't approve of this Rule 34 type shit. But this is the game, right? You don't do this on actual men. You know, or females. Uh, you do this on... um Um... Yeah, I don't want to recruit him. I don't want to recruit. Yeah. Sorry, dude. They always get really sad when you deny them as well. But the thing is, right? Um, if you, like, leave the area and come back, then you can try and recruit him again if you want. Um, but they do always drop a medal. What one was it? Uh, it must have been a bronze then. I thought it might have been a silver. It didn't pop up there, so I'm guessing it was a bronze. Yeah, he wasn't like too, too good. Like I said, you can probably tell by how strong they are. But also, if they've got like a, if they've got gold, then they're meant to be one of the better monsters. And we also get a mini medal. Worth getting. Worth getting. You want to collect all the mini medals because you get prizes and stuff, which will soon be able to uh, go to the area with the prizes very, very soon. But anyway, it's time to go into the mole's cave.